11.48 AM, EU warns Russia and Iran of new economic sanctions if chemical attacks continue European Union warns Russia and Iran of fresh economic sanctions if more chemical weapon attacks by the Syrian government go ahead, the political union said, the EU calls upon all countries, notably Russia and Iran, to use their influence to prevent any further use of chemical weapons, notably by the Syrian regime. It added the EU had imposed Syrian sanctions in July 2017 and March this year and was always ready to consider, imposing further measures as appropriate. AFP slash Giddy Syria attack live, air strike maps were shown during a Russian briefing gaffe, Giddy Syria attack live, night footage of flares above Damascus 10.39 am. Theresa May to update Parliament about strikes on Monday Mrs. May will speak with Parliament about the go-ahead of strikes in a session on Monday. Meanwhile, President Vladimir Putin has said Russia will call an emergency session of the UN Security Council over Saturday's attack. 10.27 am, France says no further strikes planned at moment The objectives of international strikes on Syria have been met and there are no further strikes planned at this stage but the Syrian government should be aware that fresh strikes could be planned if it crosses red lines again, France said on Saturday, Foreign Minister Jean-Yves Le Drian told BFM TV in an interview that there were no changes to President Emmanuel Macron's planned trip to Russia next month. 10.20 am, further reaction shows mixed response to UK military action world leaders and British politicians have been reacting to the military attacks overnight, with some praising Mrs May while others have criticized the military action, Thornbury and Ye Tempilu call saying, speed is essential, a clear signal to anyone who believes they can use chemical weapons with impunity. European Council President Donald Tusk said the European Union would stand with its allies on the side of justice. He said, Strikes by US, France and UK make it clear that Syrian regime together with Russia and Iran cannot continue this human tragedy, at least not without cost, he wrote on Twitter. Scottish First Minister Nicola Sturgeon also said questions remained about how peace could be brought to Syria. She wrote, My first thoughts this morning are with a service personnel called to action. But Stuart MacDonald, the Scottish National Party spokesman for defence, said UK forces had been engaged in gesture bombing with no major international consensus. Most worrying is that she has acted at the behest of presidential tweets and sidelined parliament, he said on Twitter. What does this new bombing campaign do to help move Syria towards peace? Nothing.10.09 am, Boris Johnson backs May in tweet Foreign Secretary Boris Johnson has supported Theresa May writing on Twitter that the world was united in its disgust for any use of chemical weapons, but especially against civilians. Reuters Syria Live Updates, UK launches airstrikes with USA, Russia warns of consequences apostrophe a.f.p. Slash Giddy Syria Live Updates, the airstrikes were coordinated by the US, UK and France 10.03am. EU Commission Presidents calls for Syrian government to end chemical weapon use European Commission President Jean-Claude Juncker urged the Syrian government to end its use of chemical weapons in a statement released on Saturday following US, French and British airstrikes on Syria. This was not the first time that the Syrian regime has used chemical weapons against civilians but it must be the last, Juncker said. 9.55 am. 100 missiles directed at Syria British and French forces struck Syria with more than 100 missiles on Saturday in the first coordinated western strikes against the Damascus government, targeting what they called chemical weapons sites in retaliation for a poison gas attack. President Donald Trump announced the military action from the White House, saying the three allies had marshaled their righteous power against barbarism and brutality. 9.50 am. Syria strikes not about regime change, Theresa May says. Theresa May has said the military strikes coordinated by the US, UK and France were not about changing the regime in Syria. She said, this was about, as I have said and you have recognized, this was specifically about the use of chemical weapons. There is a wider question on the future political solution for and that is a matter that we will continue to pursue in diplomatic and political channels with our international partners and allies. May has repeatedly said that the missile strike-on was not about regime change, 